Make your own DIY volleyball four square net for about $20. My daughter has been begging for a volleyball four square game, but everywhere I look they're sold out and on back order and quite expensive. So I thought why not just make her some with some local materials that I can get at a hardware store so that she can start playing volleyball at home. I also love the volleyball four square game because you only need four players and with the limited social gatherings that we're having right now, it's just a great way for her to be active and still follow the guidelines. So in this video, we're gonna make her a volleyball four square game just out of some basic materials. So I chose to use one by twos for the stakes on this game just because they're lightweight and they're inexpensive and they're easy to find. So all I'm doing is starting from the top of the 1x2, just making marks about every 6 inches um, for me to drill holes in later on. So the holes are giving us opportunities to change the height of the net depending on who's playing and also a hole for the stakes. I ended up doing three holes on each 1x2. I used a drill bit that is sized the same diameter as my rope, so I'm using quarter inch rope and a quarter inch drill bit. You do not have to be perfect here. This is just about getting um, the holes drilled near the middle of the one by twos. So I love doing this DIY version because, you know, have you ever had a game that you purchased at the store and one stake broke or, you know, one piece of it broke, you end up having to just throw out the whole game because you can't fix it. But in this game, since we are making everything, if something breaks, you can just repair that part because you made it yourself. Okay, so I got the one by two stakes all done. It's time to start working on the rope. You're going to cut two sections that are each 14 feet long and these are going to serve as the cross in the center of the volleyball game. So um, these will be kind of like the net for the volleyball. So those need to be identical and we can just go ahead and put those two pieces aside. All right, from the remaining rope, just go ahead and fold it in half and then fold it in half again. So you got four equal pieces and then cut them. So we're trying to get four equal pieces and you do not have to be exact here. These ropes are just being used to stake the one by twos. So I just kind of threaded it through one of the holes that I'm not gonna use for the net and just did a knot to secure the rope in the middle into that hole. So this is just for the stakes, no need to be exact. Just kind of get that knot so it can't move one way or another. And then on the two loose ends of the rope, we just need to create some loops for the stakes later on. I'm not real good at tying knots. I don't even know what the name of the knot that I'm creating is, um, but all you need is a loop. Don't overthink this one. And you're gonna do that for both ends of the staking rope. So again, these staking ropes are the four pieces that were left over that were cut in equal lengths. And there's one done. I wanted to make sure this is neat and something that you can easily store, kind of wrapped it up on top of the one by two. Because you want to think about how you can put this game away too, you know, not just building it, but what does it look like when it's not in use. So there's the four ropes on each end of the stakes. Okay, so the final last two pieces of rope that are each 14 feet long, take a marker and mark in the center of those ropes so we'll know where the center of the net is. And then I just tied the 14 foot long ropes along on a hole of my choice on the opposite side of the staking rope and it's time to stake it. So just have one person hold up the pole and then just stake it off at an angle so you kind of create like a triangle for the first pole. So you'll need a couple people, I would say two to three people is really ideal. 
This is really similar to just creating a basic tent structure. And um, you just stake it off and make sure it's nice and tight. And uh, that's the first half done. So I'm going to go ahead and tie the net rope at the same height as the first set. And remember we use the marker to kind of color in the center of the net rope. Well, we're going to line up the two X's. And I mean, this is not going to be absolutely perfect, but it's going to be pretty close. Just get those two X's to line up and then stake the remaining stakes in the ground and tie it all off. So what's really cool about this project is, you know, kids grow up, they lose interest in things. Eventually, everything that you buy is going to end up in a landfill. But this project, because it's made of renewable, biodegradable wood, reusable wood too, so you can actually reuse those 1x2s, and just rope that you can use for so many other things, when your kids lose interest or um, aren't playing with it as much, it's not going to end up in a landfill. So I'm really excited about putting this plan out there. And the kids loved the four square game. So apparently, I, I just thought that, you know, it was just a game of don't let the ball touch the ground in your court. But there's a whole hierarchy. So I guess there's a king, a queen, and a knight, and a peasant. And you want to get to the king position. Um, and if you are in the peasant position or the king position and you get knocked out, then you're actually out of the game and another person fills your spot. So you're always trying to get to that king position. It was a little bit confusing for me too. The kids know all about it. I'll leave a link in the description for like all the rules so you can follow that up. Um, another really awesome thing about this system that we made is it holds up in the wind. So we had some really strong winds and it didn't phase it. It's still up after a couple of days and still going strong and the kids are loving it and they're playing with it. And of course, it's always nice to be able to just take something down and put it away neatly.